Foreign Secretary, uh, Dominic Raab, not seeming to understand what the uh, mark of respect for the Black Lives Matter he hadn't movement got a clue. taking a knee was, because he'd um, spoken to talk radio to Julia Hartley Brewer and thought that it was something to do with Game of Thrones. Let's just have a listen. This, this idea that the Foreign Secretary of this country has been watching for three weeks people take the knee and he thinks it's from Game of Thrones. Mm. I mean, it's just unbelievable. We've talked about it a lot on this programme and the fact that um, it, it came after Colin Kaepernick, the NFL uh, player, had uh, taken a knee, of course, during the national anthem before games. Four years ago, he and did this. then we spoke to Nate Boyer, a veteran who had, in fact, got in touch with Colin Kaepernick because originally Kaepernick had sat out during the national anthem. And Nate Boyer had said to him, actually, there's another way that you could do this. And he told us on Good Morning Britain what that was. I think taking a knee alongside your teammates would be uh, more uniting, more powerful, show more reverence. And I could never think of a time in history where, where taking a knee would be seen as disrespectful. I mean, I'm, I'm talking to Good Morning Britain here. So, you know, you guys know it's a sign of reverence, you know, much like uh, you know, it can be when you, when, you, when you pray, when you propose to a loved one before royalty uh, at, at a fallen soldier's grave uh, to pay respects. And also in football, when a player is injured on the field, you take a knee. Nothing to do with subjugation. You know, this so the foreign secretary, one of the great pillars of state of his country, mm -hmm. a man who represents us on the world stage, has watched for four years people take the knee in sport. In in, in we've had police chiefs do it. We've had you know national guard do it. We've had we've had world leaders do it. Mm -hmm. And we have the Foreign Secretary thinking this is from Game of Thrones mm -hmm. and is a form of subjugation, which it is in Game of Thrones. The, the level of ignorance of that statement I found utterly breathtaking. Again, I'm sorry, but this guy's the Foreign Secretary. How, how can we know all this? Sometimes you wonder, whether, you wonder whether ministers, even the Prime Minister, are aware of the news sometimes that's around them. It was a bit like when Boris Johnson at the briefing said that the Marcus Rashford campaign, right. you know, the, the day that it was overturned, that the, the free school meals vouchers uh, for pupils over the summer holidays, he said that was the day that he'd first heard of it, even though that was an issue that had been in the news for weeks. I don't understand who's briefing ministers I just and the it, Prime Minister. It, it, it just shows us, again, yeah. just how mediocre, frankly, this government is. I wonder if um, they were watching uh, Premier League football back over the last couple of days. Um, well, when... he'd have had no idea, Dominic Rob, why they're doing this. He thinks it's a form of subjugation, that this is somehow humiliating for these players. He has no concept of what it means, the taking of the knee, the mark of respect, mm. after what happened to George Floyd. That's why people are taking the knee, Dominic Rob. Mm. You know, he won't come on this program because they're not equipped to answer questions because that's the kind of bilge they come out with. It's, it's, it's actually frightening. And you wonder, people wonder why we've got the worst coronavirus death rate in the world right now and the worst excess death toll in Europe. It's because the people running the country literally have no idea mm -hmm. about things like taking the knee and what it symbolizes. And by the way, I don't care if Dominic Raab does it. No. He turned it immediately into, I don't think I should have to be... No one's telling you you have to do it, Dominic Raab. Well, he was you being never asked to... the question, would you? want to take the knee just to your missus, as mm. you put it, uh, or the Queen, that's entirely a matter for you. Mm. But what you should do, as the Foreign Secretary, is, is at the very least understand it. why most people around the world mm. <laughs> that we're seeing understand this and you don't. Mm. We all knew what this meant. Game of Thrones. I mean, Unbelievable. One of the people, a uh, particular hero of um, Piers and, and mine, uh, Ian Wright, spoke out very mm. powerfully on his own experience of racism. It was pretty shocking. Um, have a look at this. Well yeah, said. Colin Kaepernick, for Dominic Raab's information, when he took the knee, it was after a spate of appalling incidents involving police brutality to African-American men, predominantly, in America at the time. That's what he was protesting mm. about. That's what the other players then protested about. That's what the President of the United States, someone that Dominic Raab will have to deal with, responded to in an ugly fashion and has continued to respond to 
in an ugly fashion. How can we trust our foreign secretary to even take this up with Donald Trump if he has no concept of what it's about? Absolutely breathtaking. Mm -hmm. And for people, there'll be people, I've seen it on Twitter already um, uh, over the last few days when this happened. You know, as usual, everyone who voted Brexit will see this as an attack on Brexit. Has nothing to do with Brexit, completely irrelevant, but all those ardent Brexit fans, if you criticise Dominic Raab over this, you are somehow anti-Brexit. Let me just say once again, it has nothing to do with it. This has nothing to do with it. In fact, any criticism of this government in the pandemic has nothing to do with Brexit. I still don't get the link. There is no link. It is blind tribalism that is completely poisoning this country. It is an inability to understand there can be more than one issue and that actually you can judge a government on one thing and it has nothing to do with another. Nothing. It, it, is, it is actually frightening, the level of ignorance that's going on here. And people have to wake up. And if you want to defend Dominic Raab, don't do it by saying, no one should force him to take the knee. No one's asking him to take the knee. They just want him to understand right? why asked, people would he are do taking it? the knee. He said, no, I wouldn't. Fine. I respect his, his mm. view. He doesn't have to take the knee. No one's forcing anybody to do it. But to have no comprehension of why people are doing it, if you're the foreign secretary, is shameful. And he needs to acquaint himself with these things or don't do the job. Mm. Because you represent us around the world. Imagine if he said that in America. Imagine if Dominic Raab had gone to the White House and come out with that. I mean, we'd have literally been the laughing stock of the world. This is why it's serious. He's not just you or me or someone in the street. He's the foreign mm. secretary.